opportunities that were available. Uh, we also had multiple lessons from the congressional MD that we were able to award, 48 across the United States, including uh, Alaska and Hawaii. For underserved students, we took 38 high school students from Dallas. And now I have the opportunity of presenting the first award of of the evening, the Apollo Celebration Education. Responsible for the safe return of the astronauts. Please welcome Jerry Griffin. Jerry. So could you give us a, a bit of background about why why you chose this vehicle to go to the... President Kennedy saw the great acclaim that Yuri Yaren got on his one orbit around the Earth to be the first one who's not a shrinking god. He said, I'll have it for you, Mr. President. So right away, we got together, Jim Webb. I think there's nothing more important, actually, than um, honoring Apollo. The, for me, it is the most difficult thing we've done as a civilization. And that means, for me, that it's the most important thing we've done as a civilization. I mean, what history tells us is if we don't overreach, if we don't try to do things that we can't do or we're not capable of doing at the time, then steady state is not an option. Your civilization collapses. So you need challenges and to, to to decide that we're, when, when no American has flown into space to go and land on the moon within 10 years is a challenge like no other. I'm interested actually to- Choice. We feel positive that if we go and land a man on the moon. Do you think it was possible at the time, I mean 1961, we're gonna go within a decade? Um, we have to realize that this is a historic moment in the evolution of humanity in the evolution of life on this planet. Uh, human beings and the machines that we have created are enabling us, have enabled us, to move out from the womb of Earth, out from Mother Earth into the larger cosmos. That is an amazing thing when you think about all the life we know being on this little planet Earth, and we now are beginning to move out told the Congress and the American public, this is what we're going to do. And that was... And you, because you specifically asked about the Saturn V rocket... Well, the design, yes. Yeah, that began... I mean, we're certainly at the beginning of this great adventure in the sense that there's infinity in front of us and we've opened the door and we've gone through it. So, I mean, uh, this adventure is going to go on for a long, long time. Uh, you, you know, leaving the Earth and moving out into the larger cosmos is what Apollo did. And uh, that's not going to stop. I mean, we, we may have slides. We lost another um, time to get that square away. But because it's hard, et cetera, et cetera. And the Soviet Union w was clearly... Let's face it, we started out truly in a race with Russia. And uh, to, one to get into space, but more importantly, the one where we set the race to land a man on the moon. And because of the focus on that, we were able to basically perfect the space program to the level at which it could uh, operate at that time. And I do. That doesn't mean we were stupid and didn't understand that there might be risk, but we all felt about Apollo 13 because Apollo 13, they made a movie out of it, so everybody knew about it. We're looking at the 50th anniversary of the Apollo missions, at least the, the ones that got us from our first one, liftoff, that was Apollo 7 that I flew, uh, to Apollo 11 for the first landing on the moon. And I find it a little surprising, but mostly just so encouraging to see the population at, at large excited about that happening. I personally Nobody seems to realize that that was the third crew that we had been assigned to. The orbital ball on the front. They put that on top of a proton booster. They would go in. Uh, number one, we don't have all the engineering talent we had then. We have computers that can do fantastic things now. now you got more power your cell phone than we had on Germany and Paul. In fact, nearly as much power as we had in Mission Control. <clears throat> but we had people had experience and knew how to think, take responsibility. And I don't see any <clears throat> Von Braun's or Gil Roos or George Lowe's, Jim Webb's or Dr. Simmons, or particularly Jim 
Sam Phillips. He's the one who put the thousand minute man in the ground. He was the Apollo program manager. True exploration of three different sites on the moon. Uh, we had a better plus, a better suit. And what happens when they finally break through and see the stars? I think they should know how hard we worked. You know, everybody. There was 400,000 people working on Project Apollo. And uh, believe me, a 40-hour work week was a vacation in those days. Like I said, we flew 10 missions in 20 months on Gemini. And then once we started Apollo, uh, we flew in nine months, five missions, and four of them on the big Saturn. That was tough, but we did it. Themselves in 2010, NASA authorization put back the heavy booster.